Hello everybody, Shaziz here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory with my friend Larry and uh, he is uh, going to try to blow us up with the, the hydrogen uh, cell that he designed and we're all going to uh, try to see if we can survive this thing right here. You want to tell them how your hydrogen cell works? Uh, <laughs> well, it's a, it's a sealed container with a uh, an X plate put in the bottom of it, wrapped in with uh, two five foot cables, run out to these small leads here, so that we can hook the power up to it. And it's full of water and baking soda, and then it runs out through here into a bubbler, and then over into this makeshift uh, what do you call it? Flashback arrestor. Flashback. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hope like hell it works. <laughs> we, we we need this to work because the first time, as you can see, it it blew the lid apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're hoping not to repeat that one again. So uh, let's uh, hit some power up to this thing. You might want to stand up, re rearrange yourself to where you're not going to uh, in case yeah. that thing blows up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me away from it when you're going to get the blast? Well, I'm going to duck this way and you duck that way if something goes awry. <laughs> I'll point it at the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Okay, let's see here. Hello everybody, it's old Shaziz here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory uh, fixing to try to blow some stuff up with uh, my hydrogen cell right here. I have a buddy who's uh, my part-time lab assistant who's into hydrogen so I figured I would try to see if I could build a little bit better cell. I have an idea for building a cell that would literally separate the hydrogen and the oxygen into two separate containers but I'll talk about that later. Anyway I made a little trip down to the hardware store and of course I couldn't get this acrylic tubing right here in the hardware store. Let me uh, zoom this down a little bit you can see the the whole deal here. <clears throat> anyway, uh, went to the hardware store, got one of these caps with a, a adapter on there so that it would fit this plug right here, and a couple uh, of these little three eighths, uh, no, there's a quarter inch to eighth inch uh, hose uh, adapters here, threaded on one end. And then I got one of these little gizmos right here. Drilled a hole through the top. Threaded that down inside there like that. And then a hose clamp to hold it onto the hose. And then at the other end, uh, because when you're messing around with hydrogen, you have to be really careful because if you do get it to work, and you get the flame going, the flame can literally chase down the hose and go right back into the chamber and boom, blow your hydrogen cell up. And so that's the reason why in this particular deal I'm not going to glue this into place. I'm going to press it into place so that uh, if it does explode, hopefully it'll just pop this hose off as opposed to blowing a hole in the side of the, uh, the acrylic tubing there. You notice there's two different sizes of acrylic tubing and that wasn't uh, intentional. I was initially going to do it with just this one right here but I couldn't find a cap big enough and I had two separate sizes of acrylic and so I used uh, the big one for that and made me a little chamber to gather up the gas and the water level be right about here. And then uh, <clears throat> you probably can't see it very well but inside are six stainless steel uh, plates inside there and uh, approximately uh, let's see one two yeah about five or uh, five or so of these right here to separate the plates might be more than that I'll have to recount it didn't see now I'm old age anyway uh, also used uh, some bits of wire like this right here in order to uh, connect all the plates what I did was I, uh, I was initially going to drill holes through these, uh, a little hole and then a big hole and then uh, on the opposite plates uh, the holes would be uh, different 
and so that way I could run a bolt through the side and it wouldn't touch the uh, wrong plate and that would be my connectors right there so I would have had to drill through these as well um, to uh, even it all out and they would just kind of hang there inside the deal but uh, as opposed to that you know working on a bit of a budget and that kind of stuff I used uh, two part epoxy resin down in the bottom to seal that uh, this is I believe the five minute epoxy whenever I got everything all situated I got a paint cap and uh, made me a mold down there and poured the uh, two part epoxy resin in there and mixed it up and then set that down on top of that right there so that it uh, would uh, seal up in five minutes and my only concern is that if this thing generates too much heat it might cause it to leak so I'm going to have to uh, run some tests to see if it works hopefully it does and I didn't waste my time about it but we'll find out otherwise it would have been preferable for me to have another cap down at the bottom down there and if I have to build another one that's probably exactly what I'll end up doing this little piece right here is just a old core off of a uh, fan motor and so I'm just using it to, for weight so that it doesn't flop over and all that kind of jazz and so with that said I think I explained the majority of all the deal you need some hose clamps some little uh, quarter inch to eighth inch uh, let's see if I can get that on the video there You're shaky too shaky anyway you need that and obviously some hose and now I need to get back to the flash uh, uh, flashback arrestor there I have uh, a couple fittings and if you can see down inside there I hope you might see a little copper in there some wadded up copper <coughs> essentially you can use stainless steel or any wire I use this type of copper shredding inside there to uh, make my filter so that if the uh, flame flashes back through this little needle valve which is basically uh, you can get all these in the uh, air uh, tool department um, all these fittings and everything but uh, this needle little needle valve right here for airing up uh, footballs and stuff um, basically I'll make a little torch out of it if this thing happens to function like it's supposed to and then if the fire goes back down this far it won't go any farther it'll be uh, disrupted by that uh, mesh inside this deal right here so <coughs> this is very important as uh, my uh, buddy uh, like I said he's in the hydrogen hydrogen uh, cells as well and didn't have one of these on there and literally blew the lid off of uh, his uh, hydrogen cell which uh, damaged it to the point where now it leaks really bad and I'll try to put a little piece of that video in there but uh, let's see what we can do with that anyway uh, I'm gonna put some stuff in this thing and see if it uh, even functions and if it does then I will do a, a little section of the video so you can see that it uh, that it works or not uh, something I failed to mention was uh, these plates right here every other one would be positive and negative and how I connected these to uh, these pieces was that uh, I stripped it out a little far where I could go over overlap it twice and then I folded the metal over and crimped it down so that's how I connected those together and then taped them around and uh, then epoxied the bottom of it also in order to uh, give the water a little bit more conductivity I put a little bit of, about a teaspoon of baking soda in uh, in the water to uh, try to give it a little bit more conductivity and I'll uh, I got the water in there right now and so I'll reset my camera and then uh, we'll see if this thing bubbles okay here goes nothing I've uh, got my uh, tubing right here I'm gonna press this down in there really good <clears throat> got that pressed down inside there and there's my, uh, my needle valve with the flashback arrestor I'll set that down there and uh, it's hooked up to this 12 volt car battery up here that I've been using for everything under the sun where's it at? Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Uh, I, I, there it is. Right there. Alrighty. So, you know, it made you all dizzy. I will connect the positive terminal and see if it starts to bubble. Ooh, look at that. She's a bubbling really good. Alright. Now, I'm not sure exactly how long to run this thing, but, uh, 
let me see if I can get uh, something going on here. Hopefully I don't blow myself out of the, off the planet. Do 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 do. All right. So far, don't see nothing. Don't know if I got this going too long or not. Oh, that's another thing before I get too far into this. Anytime you're messing around with electricity or do anything like that, always wear safety glasses and practice safety, safety first. I'm waiting for it to build some pressure. I hope it don't build too much pressure and blow me out the, out the lab. Uh-oh, I heard that. So far, uh-oh. Yeah, I can hear her popping. Whoa! <laughs> See that? <laughs> That's why you got to have a good flashback arrestor. See that flame go down in there? Let's try it again. Okay, let's uh, let's kill some power here. Oh. <laughs> well, surprisingly enough, it's not really hot. It hasn't heated up or anything. Gonna have to make me a better flashback arrestor, that's for sure. Okay, let's uh, put some more power back to it, see if I can get another explosion. Hopefully I don't blow myself out of the lab. But it definitely uh, went down inside there and ignited that. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Ooh, we got a flame. Look at there. We got a flame. Yeehaw! Ah! I'll be darned. Alrighty then, you see that? Here, let me uh, see if I can find something to put in front. Ah, oh, it done went out on me. Uh oh. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> That's why you don't want to take around with hydrogen. <laughs> Pretty volatile stuff. I need a, I need a better flashback arrestor. Definitely exciting. Alrighty, folks. Um, I guess I'll leave it at that because uh, I think I'm going to screw around and blow myself up out this lab. But uh, anyway, like I said, if you're going to uh, if you're going to be tinkering around with hydrogen, you got to be really super careful. I hope I hope that you got to see that flame. There it is. There's the flame. Now if I can get this uh, to light the... Ah. Trying to see if I can burn a little piece of paper. You can see this thing is, is actually working. Yep. See, it melted it off a little bit. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, that's a little too much excitement for me. <laughs> I'll reset my camera and get it back going. Okay, uh, it's me again. Uh, uh, probably against my better judgment, I'm going to go ahead and run this one more time. What I did was uh, cram some more of that uh, copper uh, uh, wool up inside there to see if I could get it to not flash back like that again. Uh, uh, might have to try to stick a uh, cigarette butt down inside here just uh, to try to stop it, but uh, either way, uh, like I said, always uh, practice safety when you're messing around with uh, hydrogen because this stuff is really highly volatile. Okay, I'm hooking my deal up again. Got my bubbles going. And you notice that water gets uh, kind of cruddy looking down inside there. Uh, stainless steel seems to uh, work the best so you don't end up getting that much crud going on, but... Trying to make sure I don't blow myself up out of here again. 
Got a bit of a flame going. Yay, there we go. Got a flame so far, right? It hasn't blew back yet. Still got a flame out that pinhole right there. Do, 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 do. Let me see if it's still going out the right hole there. Oh, all right. Whoa, she's a popping. Okay, I'm not liking the way that's sounding. <laughs> Maybe got the stuff in there too tight. Got some, uh, I think I got some flame going on, but I no, it don't sound too good. Arr! I think I got a leak somewhere else. Alrighty, uh, one last go here. Let's see if this, uh, <laughs> I think my uh, needle valve is a little, I think my needle valve is a little too hot. Alright, well, you can see the end of that's getting nice and hot. <laughs> I'm done with all this for right now. <laughs> as exciting as that is, I need to uh, work on a few safety features. <laughs> Alright, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video there. Always practice safety when you're messing around with hydrogen and uh, get a better flashback uh, rester than I got right there. See how cruddy that water ended up getting. I'll try to put a little piece of the other uh, video where my friend uh, his didn't go over so well. We didn't get the actual explosion on uh, on film or anything. Peace and love, everybody. It's Shaziz signing out. <clears throat> well, one little short addendum. I noticed that this stock, this uh, doggone fitting right here, was nice and toasty, boy. I think uh, what's going on. I got a little bit of carbon buildup down inside there plugged up my line. See if I can unscrew that dang thing there. Pooey. Anyway, might have that just a hair too tight in there or whatever. I'm going to have to work on that and I'll do an updated video whenever I get the uh, thing uh, functioning right. But you saw it. Uh, we just created hydrogen with some, uh, some junk from the hardware store. But Please, for Pete's sake, be safe because uh, you saw those flashes on there. That's not a very good deal there. Take care, everybody. Peace and love.